So the unit that I'm going to be using today is from AliExpress. I will put a card above so that you guys can check it out. Check out the video. I'll show you basically how I created this entire unit here. It is a 360 uh, wig that I created. So I'm going to use this to show you guys how I adhere it down. First what I like to do is make sure that my wig fits pretty tight. So with this 360 it has a band in the back so I'm going to adjust that cap that I have. So this is basically a pantyhose. I went to Walgreens in the pantyhose section and got um, some pantyhose. I just stretched it out to fit my head and the color I have it in is beige. So this is pretty much close to my skin tight, like really really close. Put on a cap if you don't have one, get something that's really close to your skin tone. Pop it on. So next, get some clips. This is really going to help get the hair out the way so that when you apply it, it's not going to be a big old mess. I'm going to be taking the Got To Be Glued. You guys know about this. This is a styling gel. It has a really high hold and people basically use this to gel down their lace frontals, lace fronts, and it gives you like that tape slash glue effect because it's a very strong, high holding gel. You can get this pretty much at any drugstore. Walgreens, Rite Aid, Myers, Walmart, um, pretty much get it at the dollar store, y'all. Anywhere, okay? And I like to take just a spatula. You can use your fingers, you can use a brush, whatever you have. Take just a little bit of this. I like to put it directly on my hairline and a tad bit forward because I am not about having my, my wigs on my forehead. See, I have a true forehead, okay? And once I put on these lace frontals, on my forehead, it drops me down to a three head. And I don't want a three head. I like my forehead, okay? Be very careful. And just take a thin coat. You don't have to do a whole lot, you guys. Paint it on evenly. And I like to just go all the way here. Now, you can go up underneath the hairline here if you want to, but I'm not doing that. It's totally up to you. You can take another coat. I'm gonna do another coat because I'm doing all this talking. I don't want it to like really dry on me really quick. And the key to doing this, you gotta make sure that your blow dryer is on cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with another coat. Every time I do this, I always have issues with the flaps right here. Nothing above, just the flaps. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. It's really important to have a comb with a pick at the end. That way you can really tack it down. I'm taking just some random hairspray that I got. This is by Sebastian. It's the reshaper. You can use the Got To Be Glued uh, freezing spray, but this stuff just, it it literally blasts out. And anybody got time for that. So a hairspray will work just fine. I removed the clips at this point, little by little. Do a little bit at a time. So I take this pick and just press. I really like this one because you can get in between and just take your comb and go in. Take your fingers and literally just like press it so it stays down. Press. Now you got to go and do the other side. Now if you have a little bit of lifting like right up here, take a little bit of the gel and just apply it to the lace like you were doing like edges or something. It's going to seep through the lace and it's still going to lay flat for you. Now this step is totally optional. For me, this is what I like to do if I got a little bit of time. Um, I like to tie mine down because no matter how much you blow dry it, I'm not going to sit here and keep blow drying my hair because I'm just impatient like that. So. Um, I take a scarf or a headband or something to tie it down so that it allows it to dry. Once you take the scarf off, you should be set. Look ya. I got it. I nailed it for this video. Yes! pretty much it you guys I just pulled it back into a ponytail so you get an idea that you can really style this a lot of ways 